shamefaced and faithful woman, which means a woman that's not wearing a bunch of makeup. You can wear a little makeup, okay? But don't wear so much that we can't tell are you going to be an escort? Or are you going to be an escort? Because you got way too much makeup. So we got to be uh, this is Sirach chapter 26, verse 13. Right. The grace of a wife delighted her husband, and her discretion will fatten his bones. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. Stop. Now it says her discretion will fatten his bones, which means she's going to be worried about him eating, worried about him drinking, worried about him when he comes out. Make sure when he comes home, I got I got your clothes ready for you. I have everything's clean. Food is ready. Did you want to take a shot right now? What can I do for you to help you out? That's what's going to fatten his bones because he's going to live like a king as he's supposed to. But our women don't do that. They want everything to be handed to them and for the men to work for them. And because the that's not scripture. Because the mothers they teach, teach them. So they don't have they don't have the knowledge. The new modern women don't have no knowledge of it. And then you know? she will keep her husband that way. Yes. Yes. She will keep her husband that way too. Yeah, yeah. You keep and because he ain't going to. Even though it's lawful for him to have another woman, like myself, I don't care for another woman because I have a good one. I don't need another one. To me, another woman is another fucking headache. I don't know if she's going to be righteous or if she's going to be giving me a headache. So it's, it's a headache already. So I'm like, nah, I don't want to deal with that. That's why I told my woman, no, you deal with that one. She's under you. This is your under me. Go ahead. This is Sarah, chapter 26, verse 13. The grace of a wife delighted her husband. God. And her discretion will fatten his bones. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. God. There is nothing so much worth as a mind well destructive. Now, with this scripture, it says the silence of a woman. A lot of these women, first of all, read that real quick because you have to humble yourself. A lot of these women are not humble. And they have too much pride to humble themselves, especially unto a black man. But to anybody. Especially unto a black man, like for, for our Judah women. They don't, they, you a nigga, nah, we ain't fucking with you. They'll humble themselves to a white dude, though, because yep. they got money. Go ahead. It's First Peter uh, 5 and 5. It says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Ye all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For the most high resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. <laughs> He said the most high resistance the proud and give grace to the humble. So in order to be covered in grace, you have to humble yourself. A lot of these people, they're not gonna humble themselves, so they're not covered in this grace. Like Johnny, he always can be giving salvation, grace and all of that. He don't have no grace because he's not humbling himself. Anybody that don't humble themselves unto the scriptures, they're not covered in grace. But I heard you say, I heard y'all say that God. Y'all believe God sent him here to like uh, yeah, yeah, he, make yeah, himself look like a fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, we and, under, yeah. The most I sent him to be a scoff. We understand that. Mm -hmm. He have no knowledge of that. Mm -hmm. Because he, he just keep coming yeah, on. Yeah, because in his mind, his God, which is Satan, but he don't he don't acknowledge that it's Satan. He think it's actually the most high that tells him to come out and do everything that he does and say the things that he says. That's why he, he used to have a, a not a complete Bible like mine, but basically like my brother's, two thirds of the Bible with the Old and New Testament. Then he went down to a New Testament. Then he went down to a compact New Testament. Which means he, he's losing it more and more every time he comes out. Because when he's over there, he had bought the Bible, yep. but he had bought the whole Bible. He can't, th that Old Testament, we cut him up, so he and I come. Now we still cut him up with just the New, because mm -hmm. it really don't matter. And then he came the last time with nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Because he can't deal with the truth, man. Mm -hmm. I believe that is true, that God, uh, and he know he serves Satan because how many times every time people out here and he out here we always give the paper out with the six 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 Jesus. So he know he serves Satan. We, what do you say after we talk for 20, 30 pages? Jesus loves everybody. Yeah, that's what he serves. He know that that name represents the devil. So he know he and he don't know he serves Satan, but he do know he serves Satan. Like the most high basically heard in his heart. Because every time, every time he tries to mention the name, look at his fingers. He'll throw up the bathroom. What? He'll throw up the bathroom, which is a, a, a hand sign of the devil. He does? Yes. You know the, the rock stars, how they be doing that little, when they put the oh, like, up yeah. there? Yeah, that, that. 
That's the bathroom. But he don't even know he he don't even know he's doing it. But he don't have no recognition that he's doing it. We see it. I catch it all the time. Like, look, 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 he can't control his hands. He do it all the time. He do it all the time. Every time he say Jesus, he do the shit. He does it. And when he said y'all was out, the nigga had a big ass smile on his face. Mm -hmm. I said, I never seen you smile when you say that name, Jesus. He just he just a devil, man. And then I see him every time, man. Just and I seen a whole group of people that are supposed to be Christian people, but they didn't show y'all no love when it came out. Yeah, they don't. Now they supposed to be some Christian people, Jesus love everybody, but they didn't show y'all no love. Yeah, because they, because they're, they're afraid to get yeah. into the Christian We went to a church today. Yep. Some of that village church. We explained some stuff. We saw the Jesus thing and all of that. Uh, he told us that the tip, he said, this ain't the mark of the beast. Now the some of that village churches, a 9-11 attack, we were seven that minute before uh, we grew up in the seven that church. So when I, at the 9-11, they taught us in the seven that minute churches about, about the market of peace and the temple and all that. They taught about this stuff. And I asked the dude today, I said, now, y'all taught about these things because I grew up in the church. So I know. He said they they never taught in that organization about the temple being the market of peace. And that's a lie. And I know he lied because I know for a fact that they used to preach on that, man. They had seminars and a whole bunch of other stuff on that chip and that whole nine yards. Well, now, all of a sudden, they, because, because uh, they got that, they that 501c3 target. Which means 501. Rocket. The 501c3 target. Which means, charter means that you're no longer a church for the people and you damn sure ain't a church for the people. Todd, you're a church of the government. Mm -hmm. The government controls you. And the government is pushing you. Oh. This, so they're not gonna tell you that they're gonna make sure that you don't that you take it because they're gonna teach that this is not the mark of the beast. Now, Something now they else not. is. Now they not because yeah. they used to teach that in the seven Adventist churches. Well, see, that's why I tell people y'all got a lot of truth that people just don't people just walk around here just existing and they don't have no knowledge of the truth. So people just walk around here existing. Extras, man. They're extras. That's all it is. They're extras in the movie. You got the good guys, you got the bad guys, you got the extras. You know, you just gotta be filled up with somebody. So everybody is extras. The two thirds of people ain't nothing but extras. Showing it to people, it's in the Bible, but we just, you know, they don't understand it, so they don't teach it. And that's how you know the Most High chose choose the people He wanted to choose. Get that out in uh, um, Romans is nine. Uh, so it's like, uh, what is it? Uh, out of that it's not that much more. It's not that like uh, fourteen. What you looking for?
is because the inside blind because he didn't want them to see that we're actually doing the job. He wants them to see when those missiles come, oh snap, there were the prophets. When those MRAPs come, oh snap, there was the prophets. When they go into those church buildings and they see that it was a big scam, then they're gonna be like, damn, we should have listened to those brothers outside, man. That's why he says a uh, um, uh, prophet is not known in his own country, in his own country. I'm not from Rochester. None of us from Rochester. We're all from different parts of uh, in America. I come from California. You come out of uh, New Orleans. It is. Oh, you it is. That's what's up, man. I'm not from, and I'm not from Rochester. I'm from Florida. Saying yeah. God brought y'all together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because oh, I, uh, cause I met him on the corner. I, I was already uh, learning. I was probably learning for like a month before I seen him on the corner. Yeah, like, me and him was the first two to meet. But this my, this my, this my, this my brother. You know, you got to say mine. I, I, I wasn't even talking down. to him about it at first. Cause I was still learning myself. I them. So I was, uh, I think I was learning for like probably a month. And, uh, I, you know, I was like, I wanted, you know, I was ready, I was ready to do it, right? But as soon as I started here, and I, you know, I still wanted to do it, and so I was going to fight. And him, he started teaching me. What type of spirit? His height just gave me the spirit, gave me the right hand. He built to me a lot. You're able to, yeah, you're able to, like, I've seen some guys on TV, and I can't, 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 I